So we're going to start, let me write this off. We're going to start with uh, step number six, photo number five. Cut the uh, three vertical stip stiffeners, quarter 20 by quarter 20 by 30 inches balsa. Uh, cut and glue into place. All right, so we've got some marks on here. I I I'm going to do one side of the fuse first. All right, so now we have to uh, unpin both sides. Let's turn this basically down. Unpin both sides and mask them together, and we're going to sand them down so both sides. So now we're going to pin the right and left side together. Uh, so the vertical view of the plans, we're going to pin those and put formers F5 and F8 in place. All right, so step number, so I have the left and the right sides pinned on the board, and it's pretty close. And I'm using these uh, these magnetic uh, welding rod holders. I'll probably have to get some more, but they seem to be working pretty well. So, so I mean, I kind of have these pins pinned on the outside here, and, uh, and that's working for now, but step number... 16 so there's an eighth inch or three sixteenths uh, two by six inch piece of balsa and we are going to pin that underneath the aft side of the fuse right so that's going to uh, kind of hold this in place the back of the fuse in place i'm guessing while we glue the formers f8 yep tech glue number 18 is going to be tech glue formers f5 and f8 in place um, so we're, we're going to get everything kind of trued up. So I'm going to pin this underneath the aft end of the fuse here. So I'll get that done. I'll probably uh, put a couple more pins up and down the fuse. And then move
All right, so for uh, step number 14, pin the right and the left side of the fuselage to the plans. So we've got former F5 in the front and then former F8 in the back. And so I put these clamps on top because uh, the top sides were kind of uh, moving out and I have these little pins at the bottom. And then we have this two by six inch piece in the back, right? And the magnets uh, are kind of holding everything in place. I know that after this, we're going to put uh, some quarter by quarter by 30 pieces in between to get the, uh, the distance right in between the fuse. But right now, I'm, I'm pretty confident that just with uh, kind of pinning this together and then clamping it at the top, I've got everything kind of trued out. And so now we have to glue former F5 and F8 together. So it takes a lot to kind of get the whole fuse trued up. Uh, but I feel like if I get F5 and F8 glued together, uh, then I'll be able to true up the, the front and the back uh, just fine. So without getting too far ahead of myself, I'm going to go ahead and tack glue F5. All right, so now, so now I have four of our F5 and F8 glued together. And the next step is to glue the F1 firewall in place. So that's not one of the pieces that I punched out. F1 firewall seems to be this guy right here, which I have a piece of hardwood that fits. And let's make sure this is right. So, this is going to be your 5 and 3 eighths by 5, and it is a quarter inch thick. So that, I'm pretty confident, is going to be our firewall. It fits right in place up here, right? So the next step is going to be... Uh, glue the F1 firewall in place. Use several strips of masking tape to hold it in place before gluing. Check the fit and make sure the firewall is positioned vertically over the plants and is square with the fuselage side. So I'll do that. I'll go ahead and back. Alright, so for right this second, so we got F1, the firewall glued in place. I did that with some thick CA. I'll probably reinforce it since I'm going to use like a 15cc motor on here. And, uh, and I've got things pinned in place to what I think is true since I know we're going to have to make some uh, quarter by quarter by 30 inch pieces in the back. Um, but I just, you know, I'm, I'm gluing everything, making sure that it's pretty true. Um, so if anybody thinks of anything that I'm missing, let me know. Alright, I think that's it. <laughs>